Hello, this is Carlo. Welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Uh, seeing as it's Halloween next month, I thought we'd do a little ghost, um, some ghost effects uh, using After Effects. Um, there's a couple of plugins you're going to need, or mainly one plugin, which is Twitch. Um, you can purchase that from videocopilot.net. Um, but that's about it. So let's look at what we're going to be creating. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff, pretty freaky. Um, so sound was used by, um, I used uh, Pro Scores by Video Copilot again, but it is all based on taste. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna create a new composition. Uh, we are gonna keep it about 10 seconds long and we are just gonna click OK. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna import a few items. Um, so I've got a couple of pictures on my desktop that were basically downloaded off the net. So we have this one here um, of some eerie lady um, that we can use. Uh, the one I did use for this composition is, if I can find it somewhere over the rainbow, uh, is this one here. Now obviously it's a bit of a, um, sort of a, like a rough picture, but it doesn't really matter because we're gonna add Twitch to that anyway and we're going to do some saturations and obviously we're going to do some effects to it so it doesn't matter if the image quality is low um, so yeah this is the one we're going to be using so I am going to drop that into my comp window like so and obviously we're going to need a background or a back plate as well so um, I'm using this one it's just a standard staircase uh, nothing too special nothing too um, it's not very high pixel rate or high quality as you can see it's 660 by 495 but like I say because it's a ghost scenario it doesn't really matter about the quality because we're going to fuzz it up a bit anyway so let's drop that into our composition as well and first and foremost we're going to bring our ghost in uh, to our comp and we're just going to basically scale her up to about here um, because what we're going to do is we're going to mask her out so uh, with your ghost selected let's just rename it ghost so we know where we are and uh, we're just going to get our pen tool and just around the outside we're just going to mask around her it doesn't have to be extremely um, neat or close because we will be using a bit of feathering to this and come off the screen here it doesn't matter about this because we're going to add the uh, we're going to do a bit of crop as well um, but sometimes if you if you want her fully on the screen um, obviously make sure you pick an image which is not cut off down the bottom but seeing as this is the one for the tutorial we're just going to use this one here so we're just going to press F on the keyboard and we are going to feather this out just a touch like so um, and that's fine and then what we're going to do is we're going to bring our back plate in and we're going to rename that background or BG for background okay so now obviously we've got our ghost um, first of all we're going to select our background and we're going to make that a 3d layer and we're just going to basically push that back into Z space to about there and then we're just going to scale it up to size um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to make our ghost um, a 3d layer as well and we're just going to oh not do that bits we're just going to click on our ghost and just basically move her into position which is about there and then we are going to use a uh, after effects plugin called twitch but what we need to do is just scale her up just a little bit because obviously you know she looks like a bit of a midget and just bring her up to about there which is fine bring our black paint down just a bit like so so at, at the moment it's already looking pretty good the only problem obviously we've got the bottom here but she is going to be animated um, anyway so let's select our ghost we're going to go right click effects video copilot and we are going to open up twitch okay so speed amount we're going to bring uh, the animation amount down to about I'll say about th let's just put it in here 30 like so um, speed is not too 
not too clever so we're going to bring that to about the so about 10 speed and then we're going to open up enabler and basically we're going to we're going to add some blur to that we're going to add some blur to her to give her that ghostly sort of effect because we don't really want to see her face um, and then we're going to basically add the slide as well so basically as as the video is moving as you can see it's sort of moving around giving us that sort of ghost effect if you can still see the uh, mask out tool just click here and that will switch it off and already as you can see we've got a nice sort of uh, bit of animation of her uh, moving around as you can see okay so we're not finished yet we're gonna we're gonna animate her very very quickly so we're gonna click on our ghost click on a position and we are going to click on the stopwatch uh, we're going to use this uh, we're going to sort of bring the time frame to about say two seconds and uh, we're just going to use um, our, uh, our keyframes just to sort of bring her about there um, and then we're going to sort of move over a little bit here and then we're sort of going to move her sort of over here say to about there bring it a little bit forward and then we're going to bring her into the camera a bit more like so and then maybe move a little bit forward there to about here bring her over and finally we're going to bring the tire keyframe to the end and pull her all the way off the screen like so so as you can see now we've got a nice effect of a ghost sort of walking around the house okay so now it's time for, for a little bit of grading so what we're going to do is we're just going to select our back plate and we are going to come up to effects and we are going to type in a uh, crop to start off with um, and we're just going to um, drag, drag the crop on here and we're just going to make sure that this is sort of straight so select that to naught like so and just put that into position there okay and now we're going to um, add some effects to our old comp so we're going to create a new uh, adjustment layer we'll go to effects and we're going to go to hit film grunge and film damage and we're just going to click on that as you can see it's given us a really sort of nice uh, grainy sort of look so let's just bring that down just a bit, bit. let's stick some stains on there like so now maybe about one actually we're going to add some shape to that so we're going to do that about three and click enter and then we're just going to test it out see how it goes as you can see I mean this is because the actual composition is actually moving but it's okay because we can rescale it um, afterwards anyway but um, you know when it comes to um, doing your color grading um, it is basically um, based on taste I use the crop tool here just to sort of cut her off so we don't see the bottom of her um, but normally if you was to use a, a different picture that has actually got a complete you wouldn't have to do that it's just like I quite like this image so that's why I've used that so let's just stop that there and as you can see it's quite a nice little effect but where this is moving obviously it's coming off the screen so what we're going to do is we're going to get our back plate and all we're going to do is just drag it up just a little bit just to fill um, fill up where it's basically going wrong where it's coming off the screen as you can see so quite a nice um, bit of uh, composition so what we're going to do um, as well as that we're going to go back into our adjustment layer effects color correction and we're going to go to curves and we're just going to play around with our curves uh, just to give it that sort of 
vintage um, evil sort of look like so and as you can see we'll actually bring that up just a bit actually maybe bring this about there we want to give it sort of like an old style look so when we play it it's, you can see you've got a nice um, apparition floating around your house so um, yeah if we want to sort of um, crop that uh, what we're going to do is we're going to select our background layer background layer and I'm just going to click ratio and I'm just going to drop 16.9 onto my background plate um, and then we're just going to have a look for it here so we're aspect ratio here as you can see and we're just going to sort of bring the bars up and we're just going to maybe slide it down just a little bit Ooh like to about there which you might actually go off the screen there so we might have to put let me try saying yeah so yeah that's right so our background plate so it's in the background so about that so she actually comes sort of, sort of about there but i would recommend that you use um say for instance premiere pro um or basically a video editing to do your um uh, what do you call it your your aspect aspect ratio because um, that's basically what I used I mean after effects will sort of put it on the whole composition so um, if you open up our um, uh, Premiere Pro and just use your composition uh, uh, sorry your crop settings in um, uh, uh, Premiere Pro sorry um, you'll get a better effect if you want to finalize it so as you can see it is a really nice effect um, it is quite eerie um, like I say, I use Pro Scores for the soundtrack, um, but it's a very, very easy, quick effect to make, especially, you know, we're right on top of Halloween now, so and what I'm going to try and do is do some more um, horror-based or freaky sort of tutorials so you can create some funky stuff um, as she comes closer. As you can see, it starts to look really, really cool. She comes a bit closer there. You can sort of see that it's a girl, but... You know like there you can sort of see it's a girl but uh, at the same time you're not too sure what it is so yeah i mean i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial um i'm gonna try and get jet strike I was, i've done part one of jet strike um you know jet strike tutorial um for advance um i'm gonna see if i can get that published by the end of the week or maybe later on tomorrow um that'll be part two uh, of the jet strike tutorial so again guys thanks for listening and I'll see you guys in the next uh, tutorial. So thanks a lot, guys. Bye.